good afternoon and welcome to the gallery tv news i am onye ede labor moves against national assembly holds nationwide protest today the nigerian labor congress will today wednesday hold the all the nationwide protest over moves by the national assembly to remove the national minimum wage from the exclusive to the concurrent legislative list the congress in an invitation to journalists on Tuesday said the protests would hold in the 36 states, houses of assembly and at the National Assembly in Abuja. It added that the protests would start from the Unity Fountain in Abuja at 7.30 a.m. to the National Assembly complex. The invitation read, the Nigerian Labour Congress and its allies will tomorrow Wednesday embark on a nationwide protest against attempts by some elements at the National Assembly to remove the minimum wage from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list. In Abuja, it will mobilize from the Unity Fountain at 7.30 a.m. to the National Assembly. Also, over, 50, over 527 billion naira in Bolu loot still being expected federal government. The federal government says over 100 million heroes Approximately 527 billion naira allegedly stolen by a former governor of Delta State, James Ibori, and his associates is still being expected. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami San, said this on Channel Television's Politics Today program on Tuesday. Malami, who is also the Minister of Justice, said, apart from the Ibori loot, $100 million traced to the late head of state, General Sani Abacha, was also being expected. And now on COVID-19, Brazil expects issue warning as hospitals close to collapse. More than 80% of intensive care unit beds are occupied in the capitals of 25 of Brazil's 27 states, Rio Cruz said. Experts warn that the highly contagious variants in Brazil may have knock-on effects in the region and beyond. Brazil is a threat to humanity, Rio Cruz epidemiologist told the AFP news agency. The country has recorded more than 266,000 deaths and 11 million cases since the pandemic began. It has the second highest number of deaths in the world after the US and the third highest number of confirmed cases. And now on the sports news, Ghana gives players $10,000 each for on the 20 Afghan victory. Ghana's president Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado has announced that each player of the under 20 football team, the Black Satellites, will receive a gift of 10,000 US dollars for winning the under 20 Afghan tournament in Mauritania last Saturday. The president said half of the amount would be given out in cash, while the other half would be invested for 10 years. He made a promise on Tuesday. And that's it on the Gallery TV news on the hour. Please do join us later in the day for more detailed news. Thanks for watching. I am Unia Dent. See you then. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man is just being kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. 
It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at the www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we, we set, set the, the pace. pace.